So the temptation for me to be like, good morning, New Yorker. Corella, you're gonna learn so much about showbiz and movies. We have officially arrived to Madison Square Garden. Welcome to New York, you guys. It was very easy to get to New York from Toronto, just a very short flight. I feel as though the moment that we took off, we were landing and it was the most beautiful day. We're traveling with Expedia on this first part of the New York City vlog, and they're the ones that actually brought me here. There's a few travel trends for 2024 we'll discuss, and there are so many things jam-packed in this vlog. I honestly can't believe it. And the first is a mocktail making class here at this restaurant called Applethek, but I will tell you a little bit more about that once we get into the class. Hello you guys, first activity, something so fun to do in New York is to get a lesson of something. So today, this afternoon, before dinner, we are getting a mocktail class and you can also get cocktail making classes from a bartender, but it's really fun to get mocktail classes because you know what? There are so many cool things that you can do with juices, muddling things, adding different bitters. It's been really, really entertaining and cool. We were on the second drink, we just finished that. And there's four. Could you imagine if this was an actual cocktail class? But we're at this place called Apotec. That's how you pronounce it, the bartender told me. <laughs> and it is such a cool place. It's a little hole in the wall when you first get um, down the street and then you go down some stairs. They have this little hidden bar and then you go all the way up to the penthouse. And I have to show you this view. It's been so incredible, but it's such a nice day that you can see the Empire State Building. And then they can open all of this glass in the summer, which is incredible, we've heard, for summer patio. And it's just such a vibe out here. So I'm gonna go join the rest of the crew back inside the bar. It's a little bit darker, but I'll show you a ton of shots from that and take you along for this mocktail making class. This is one of the things as well with Expedia talking about reasons to travel and it's taking classes and learning things and just diving into the culture and the food of wherever you go. Love it. There's so much to do here in New York. Catherine was but like, this tastes like a health shot. It really does. Some people will come back and be like, I don't need that. dinner. I cannot wait to show you this room tomorrow. I'm gonna do my official hello so you'll I'll be like jumping around in the timeline tomorrow when it's nice and bright in this room. But you guys we are officially in New York. I'm gonna quickly get dressed and me and the girls I'm so excited to tell you we're going to the Rockettes tonight. So we'll be getting a little little snippet but you definitely have to come see it yourself but it's gonna be so festive we just decided to book tickets when we were at our mocktail class but I have to get dressed really quickly because I am meeting everyone downstairs 
and we're gonna go to dinner. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the present. Making sure you bend me. To kick off the festive vibes for the evening, we went for this Tinseltown esque restaurant that had tinsel everywhere and it was very festive decorated. And we got a ton of bites and just shared them. Everyone was pretty hungry after our travel day. And then we started just getting so excited. We headed back to the hotel to change, saw the Met on the way. And then it was officially time to head out for the Rockettes. And I cannot wait to show you guys the footage. I couldn't grab too much because you're really not supposed to grab a ton of footage at shows like this. You're just supposed to go and enjoy it. And it was so easy to book in. The tickets were around $126. And honestly, it was worth every single penny. If you're going to the earlier show, it's recommended to go a little bit earlier to line up. But we were in the evening show and it wasn't a problem at all getting in. It was around 1030 and everyone was so dressed up and it was just so lovely. But I'll let you just enjoy some of this B-roll and I'll stop yapping along because this was just pure magic. Because all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you You guys, what an absolute day! Okay, let's debrief. First and foremost, the Rockettes. Holy guacamole, those people are so talented. And that was such a fun show. The whole time I was just thinking, oh my gosh, my sister-in-law Courtney and her two little girls, Quinn and Reese, they need to go to the show when they're a little bit older because they would absolutely love it. They got to come and go and check. I've been up since five something and it is officially at 12 30 and it's been a long day of traveling you know how just like high on alert you are um and just not knowing when meals are gonna happen and things like that tomorrow is our full full day of some really fun stuff we're also gonna go see mariah carey tomorrow so that is like christmas to a t i hope you enjoyed following along for today sorry i didn't get to like vlog talk to you too much but it was a really smooth ride getting here. I honestly forgot how quick, oh my gosh. I honestly forgot how quick the flight is from Toronto to New York. Oh my gosh. It was like we took off and then as soon as we were coming down, or as soon as I was settled in my seat, they were like 30 minutes left, we're landing. And I was like, okay, I better chug this ginger ale. But it's been such a nice time. We're with such a really nice group of girls. And yeah, it's gonna be so much different in terms of vibes tomorrow because we'll all have slept here. I'm so sorry, I am so tired. <laughs> we'll all have slept here. I'm gonna do my little taking off my makeup, a little routine as well. And I'm meeting Sarah, one of the group planners tomorrow who I've known for a little bit. I've known for a couple of years now. I'm gonna meet her tomorrow at 8 a.m. downstairs because we wanna get in a little bit extra exploring and possibly as well some extra photo ops and just things like that. So hopefully, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna to do too much with my hair. I think I'm looking at it right now. I have some dry shampoo and we're just gonna figure it out um, for tomorrow. 
I actually have a really cute velvet bow, so I might do a half back, which will kind of solve that problem. Um, and we're also doing Bryant Park, which is one of the best Christmas markets, especially in New York City. So there's gonna be food, things to shop for, and it's just gonna be such a fun day. So I can't wait, but we gotta fall asleep first, and I gotta just kind of decompress. So I'm gonna take off my makeup, and I'll throw it over to tomorrow, Amanda, to show you this room officially because the Latte Hotel is, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. This is how you pronounce it, and this is how it looks. Um, it's beautiful. It has palace in the name, and I can see why. You'll also recognize it from some scenes in Gossip Girl, which is really fun. It's one of the themes, actually, that Expedia has in terms of trends for next year, and that it's called set jetting. And tomorrow, actually, that's our first activity. We are going to set jet, which means we're gonna go and take a tour, film and TV tour on a bus to show us just different sets around the city that are absolutely iconic, and in terms of this hotel, one, it has the vibes, that's another theme, is when you walk into a place and you walk into a hotel, you walk into your stay, the first thing you're gonna think about is what's the vibe? What is this telling me? And here it is like upscale, it's so holiday right now, it is so Christmas. I'll show you a couple of scenes from just walking back from the Rockettes tonight, the Christmas tree outside is stunning, I can't wait to see it in the daytime. So it's got both, it's got the vibes and the set jet. And we'll talk a little bit more about the other themes because I love learning travel themes because it just, it inspires you to do different things. But I bid you farewell, I bid you good night. Guys, we're in New York on a press trip. This is like, this is what we've been working for. Sweet dreams. I have been watching so many Serena Vanderwoods and TikToks. So the temptation for me to be like, good morning, New Yorkers, to you right now <laughs> is so big. I was trying to find a little lunch to put you on, but this view to wake up to, oh my goodness gracious, it is so, so, so cool. Okay, so you've got the, the church right outside. <gasps> like, how cool is that? And I just spotted this morning the Burberry building as well. Very, very neat. Now this morning, this morning I am going downstairs, I think I mentioned this last night, to meet up with Sarah and we're gonna do like a little dander about, hopefully grab a coffee or something like that. And then we have our set jetting tour. So I think it is only appropriate that I do some Serena Vanderwoods and sounds today. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. So I've got on Edge of Ember hoops. I've got on my dish dress and my little brown boots. I can probably show you that better in this mirror. So nice, but it's a bit backlit. So we're gonna go back to this mirror. And then when we come back to the hotel, I'm gonna change for our set jetting tour and Bryant Park later, something a little bit more casual and comfortable. It was awesome as always um, and we were thinking we have some extra time we also got some shots outside of our hotel which I'll put on screen now but we were thinking of possibly doing top of the rock really quickly um, we're just back at our hotel and then we're meeting everyone at 10 what do you think so Sarah and I foolishly we got back to our room we changed look at her cutie little Christmas sweater <laughs> we changed and then we were like Okay, we can make it. We'll get to Top of the Rock. It's in five minutes. We'll just run there. No. I have it on iPhone footage. I'm gonna put it right here because Sarah's reaction in this video is so funny. 
because the line is so long. So but, close, but not really. But not really. No, it's on the side of the building, by the way, and there's tons of people who are marked there, so you can ask them questions. There was such a nice man helping us. But one thing I learned, actually, there were tons of people lined up, and one of the attendants was yelling, if you're not at this 10 o'clock time, like, don't be in line. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Yeah. That was smart. Is there anything else we learned? Give yourself time. Give yourself time. Give yourself lots of time. But we're planning on going tomorrow morning, so we will get that in the vlog, and we will be so much more prepared, and sometimes you just gotta, like, go with the flow. And we were flowing very fast at that moment. <laughs> so we're just waiting for our tour, and catching up, waiting for the other girls, and Sarah made such a good point. I'm gonna put the camera on you right here. Oh! Okay! I was just saying that hotels are such a nice place for everybody to compliment each other. Like, if you're in an office building and you're downtown, I'm so less likely to say, to tell a stranger that I love their coat or their dress. But in a hotel, everyone's so welcoming, everyone's so happy to travel. It's so true, and especially yeah. like New York and Christmas. We got on the elevator and she has a black jacket with, um, like, rhinestones on it. Yeah, it's sparkly. We'll show you later specifically. And literally a woman right there was like, oh, I love your coat! And it's... It's just nice! It's so nice! Yeah. Yeah. People that are traveling just want to be connected with other people. And I love when you see people taking other people's photos too. Because one girl I actually, we were running by so I was so sad that I couldn't do it. But one girl, she was trying to take a photo of her her friend and the Rockville tree. And they took a photo and she just said, oh, the tree's not even in it. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. Never gets me down. Um, I'm going on 39 years of experience, so don't worry, I got you. Woo! <laughs> Looking good, Katie. Today, by the way, is going to be a big reveal. I'm a baldy. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I I was born in the city. I was raised on its edges. My pop work is like. <laughs> Everything could be for the better. I love the love of people. It's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends. And I want to thank every brick. I want to thank every entrance to every building that I step in. In this city of mine, oh, you most my best friends. Hi, that is the inspiration for McLaren. Oh. Now, first to our right hand side, this opening on Broadway. One man first appears in Ghostbuster. Enchanted with Amy Adams and. Uh, Patrick Dempsey. Oh, you can see the Trump International Hotel and Tower that was featured in a movie called Tower Heights. Me Jack will get stony, walk around and get lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back while I was lucky to get just by walking through the city. No, I'm a small part of this. Main characters get stuck in this building right here to our right there. This is all Central Park. Is set up and the is talking to the camera. A little bit behind us right now, but you could have better view once the next right hand turn. Three, it is well. Uh, I never really have a place to come from, so I travel and I roam till I find that. But I'm full of adventure, so I wander and I venture. And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that. I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at. A spot where I don't spend no money, just some time at. I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little. I brought some weed and baby, maybe we could burn a little she said you're funny i said no i'm david and i left sun shining birds chirping let me take a breath i'm headed to the city this is where carrie is supposed to wet big so that's all right here to our right hand side now these uh lions that are out front they do have names this first one is patience and the other one is fortitude patience and fortitude guard the new york public library and the reason why they're named that is because when this was first built it was during the Great Depression. So people who couldn't afford burial plots were all buried here um, in this location. And so Dan Aykroyd believes this whole area to be haunted. The location of a public Christmas tree here in New York City. Hometown, baby, we go way back All the situations, circumstances Still we don't mind steady going on I dance around the street lights Hey I know every street sign the tour so far has been so nice. We've learned about so many different spots. They'll show like movie clips and then be like, to your left, to your right, which is really, really fun. 
and tons of things that you'd recognize. Right now we did a little stop off at Washington Square Park. In total, it's probably two and a half hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All these pigeons just are flying around about us. But we're in Washington Square Park. You may recognize this beautiful archway. And we have a few moments to just stand around here, spread our legs a little bit, and just participate in this part of New York. There's a lot of characters around here, but it's such a beautiful day. Ghostbusters, which is right there, and that's gonna be really cool. It's been cool getting to see more neighborhoods because it's a lot less touristy, and you can see locals actually doing their thing. This off Broadway Theater, if you come close here, follow me this way. Stars with some names on them. These are not actors, these are all uh, playwrights. This is the American Playwright Walk of Fame. There are a few people you'll probably recognize, even if you don't know Peter all that well. is the last stop that we're getting off. We just saw where Joey's off-Broadway show, where he plays like in Freud in Friends, but I think maybe you'll recognize this place as well. Hint, it's from the very same show. This is the Friends apartment. And what's so cool is in this neighborhood, they can't build above six floors. And inside of this building, there are only apartments that are one bedroom most. So there would not be two bedroom, two bedrooms. Oh, he's telling us new things. One sec. When you see the clips, when you go back on the bus, you'll notice that they cut off portions of the building to make you feel that it's a little bit taller than the next this cafe that's below it obviously isn't Central Perk, but it is Owl, the Little Owl, and Central Perk was actually inspired by the Little Owl, which is really, really cute. But you'll see there are no balconies, so they actually don't have that, but they do have the fire escape. So, there you go. set jetting is a huge theme and a huge trend for the year to come. It's really fun, especially in a city like New York or LA, you're gonna learn so much about showbiz and movies and everyone can relate to that. So that was so, so cool. I hope that you got a lot out of it too. We're gonna head back to the hotel, change a little bit, and then we're gonna go over to Bryant Park, which is one of the biggest Christmas markets. It's gonna be so cute and very, very festive. Another thing that's right on theme. back to the hotel really quick. I'm doing wrong shoe theory today. If you've never heard of that, that's another Alison Bornstein thing. Um, and if you don't know who Alison Bornstein is, definitely watch my three word how to find your personal style video, but I am in such a rush. I put on this Lululemon headband. I also have a bodysuit underneath this. H&M turtleneck, odd muse blazer. I'm wearing my other Lululemons and my Lululemon socks as well as sneakers. And this is the fit. It's really hard to see this way, but I just think it's super cute with the sneakers and the blazer. Wrong shoe theory. Guys, this has been so much fun. I honestly, I keep having to pinch myself. Like I feel so honored to be here. The fact that I'm looking out this window right now and I'm getting to bring you guys to New York. Now, something to do in New York in the Christmas is to go to a Christmas market. So let's head to Bryant Park. We are all so hungry too. I've only had a croissant and a coffee today and it is nearly two. So let's go there and there are so many food stalls. I'm gonna try to try as many as I can without getting sick. <laughs> Very busy. 
busy. So some people say come a little bit earlier, especially on the weekends, and then um, during the weekday it should be a little bit better, but take a look at this. doing poetry for strangers and she is so cool what an absolutely stunning day what a fun day that was so great the weather was incredible and now we're gonna get ready for Mariah Carey. Let me know guys, do you like better when I look here or is it okay if I look here? I've seen things on other people's vlogs that if that drives you crazy, I would like to know now. Side note, I just ordered some room service. The room is looking like an atom bomb went off because my clothes are absolutely everywhere. They actually did leave me a little something. So I thought we could read this card and I also wanna read you the poem that was written because oh, my goodness, it literally made Sarah and I tear up. So let me get that. So, I wonder if I can sit you somewhere because I wanna be able to tell you what I told her. Actually, the bathroom lighting is really nice. Oh, maybe I'll crouch. So, I basically went up to Molly, who was so nice, and she put her Instagram handle, and I think it's Four City Poems but I will confirm and I will put it down below because she was such an angel and such a beautiful creative. And it was so fun being able to take photos for those people who are also getting their poem done because clearly it was a little love poem. And so basically when you walk up to her, she asks you what you want to write about. And I was telling her that Scotty and Rosie are literally the loves of my life. And when I leave the house, I will say, Goodbye, 
the loves of my life or I'll see soon the loves of my life. And when I come home, if I see just one of them, if I see Rosie, obviously, because she's the one running downstairs, I will say, hello, it's one of the one of, one of the loves of my life. And so I was telling her all about that, but how I travel and I travel for work and how they are just the best thing to come home to. And this is what she wrote. It's so cute. She wrote, oh, little loves, though I am called to every wild corner of the earth to witness all the joy a city can contain still, nothing is more beautiful than the sight of you waiting by the door to call me home. For Scotty and Rosie from Amanda. And she dated it. How sweet is that? I'm gonna frame this when I get home and obviously give it to Scotty and I'm gonna press it in a book. But before I get too emotional, we gotta get ready, like we gotta get hyped up because this is the Mariah Carey Christmas concert and I just feel like this is not, this is, this turtle, this is not doing it for us. So I think I'm gonna fully wash my face, figure out what to do with this hair, maybe we'll do a fun braid or something like that and just get into it. I also just ordered room service, which I feel like is one of the biggest luxuries in life. And I can't wait to dive in because we have eaten nothing today. <laughs> and, but if you guys know me, you know I have colitis. And sometimes I'm like, oh, if I'm going through a flare, which I am right now, I'm like, actually, that is better than eating too much in a day. Too much information? Yes. Is this our cozy little nook of the internet? Yes, do we make the rules? Always. So I'm gonna start getting ready and I'll show you the end result. Maybe I'll do like a getting ready on TikTok and then I'll pop it in here as well. Or you can just follow me there, that's always fun. We did some really fun things on there today too. Alrighty. <laughs> I just always end up sitting on the ground. Oh, this is so sweet as well. They hooked us up with a candle, which is very nice inside of this package here. And it smells lovely, what it looks like. Very like hotel, hotel vibes. And they did a handwritten letter, which is so sweet. Welcome to the Latte New York Palace. We are delighted to host you during the most magical time of year. Please enjoy this special palace candle as a memory for your visit. It was inspired by the architecture of our kind of our iconic Villard mansion. Please reach out to any member of our team if there's anything we can do to make your stay more memorable and then included their card. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm gonna keep that card because you just never know. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I am so hungry. This smells incredible. You will not believe what it costs. We're not gonna talk about it. How adorable. <gasps> Can't wait to dig in, but we have a very limited time. We are ready to go see Mariah Carey! Got a little dress, the bow heels, and all the girlies are dressed up. Look at this iconic outfit. We've got the green as well, little sparkly skirt. You were like, whoa! And Sarah's bringing the red, so cute. Little shoe action. officially arrived to Madison Square Garden, which is really exciting. We just went through security, and we're actually going to the VIP access, which is fun, that just opened. So we're gonna go up and see what's going on there, and we also have this. tickets. We also got this nice little blanket. <laughs> this I was not expecting. Okay. <laughs> and this was in the email. I was not expecting this. A VIP reception 
for the Mariah Carey Christmas concert. Like, it does not get more epic than that. They were serving around hors d'oeuvres, food. There was a ornament making station. Look at this. It was fully stacked and then you could put your ornament on the tree or take it with you. There was a DJ, there were drinks, and there were just overall really good vibes. It was amazing and I can't believe we got to do that. And then we joined the DJ, the preset, down on the floor, getting ready for Mariah Carey. Absolutely epic. My goodness gracious, my ears are ringing. And that was honestly one of the most incredible, the most incredible performance I've ever seen in my life. Not in terms of like dancing and all those things. The, the ensemble was incredible with dancing. But Mariah Carey's voice, you guys, she opens her mouth and angels literally fly out it was crazy she is so talented if you can ever see mariah carey live especially her christmas concert oh my gosh please please try to go see it <laughs> she was incredible this outfit was very fun to wear dynamite dress i was wearing some little amazon heels actually and these little bow earrings and my velvet bow and I just felt so lovely wearing this and all the girls were dressed up and it was so lovely to see them as well. I am going to tuck in. The yawns are starting. You know it, <laughs> the yawns are starting. And it is officially time for bed. And I think we will have our send off for this vlog tomorrow. And then I will start editing, 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 editing it up as soon as possible. Tomorrow morning, we're planning to go to the top of the rock. So if you're still here on the vlog, let's do that. Let's have another great day. Morning, you guys, a proper
super good morning. We are on the move because we're about to go top of the rock. Sarah's with me. We're just trying to figure out where to go in. Ahead is Rainbow Room, Observation Death for NBC Studios, which is really fun. Um, it's supposed to be pouring rain today, and my app said it was going to start like the moment we left the hotel, and it has not started. So hopefully, hopefully some good luck. I feel like we're also on the hunt for a little bit of coffee, and then this girly is heading back home. Which I'm, I'm sad about. I'm sad. I know, me too. It's really fun. <laughs> but let's take you to the top of the rock. We're gonna figure out where we're going. It says top of the rock there. This is? I was worried it was gonna be really windy up here and that I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys, but it is not. It is like the most perfect day. We just got some great shots. So, some tips about coming to the rock. The time of the day. Time of the day, come early. Come, come early. as early as you can. And there's still a lot of people here, but you're able to get your shot. There's Catherine getting her little shot. And they have the observation goggles, of course. And yeah, it's honestly just the most perfect day. So many great views too. Highly recommend. Thank you guys so much for following along with this vlog. Oh my gosh, we got up to so many things. Let me know if there's something you've done before you were happy to see that I got a chance to do or if there's something that is now on your bucket list. There are so many incredible trends to check out for 2024 and Expedia, thank you so, so, so much for bringing me on this opportunity. But even above and beyond that, you guys, thank you so much for watching these vlogs because it really enables me to get to do these things and bring you along and I'm so appreciative. Now here's a little insight on how part two will be a little bit different. Do you know what's better than following one girlie around New York? Oh, <laughs>